Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make a start menu in Scratch. This is the part two. So yeah, you can see we're gonna make this. Uh, this is a this start menu is inspired from my game Bitmap 2020. And yeah, you can see this has a big cookie here, as it is a cookie clicker game. But you can just change it to anything you want. Then we have these three buttons: play options and quit. You can uh, add functions to them now for now these just delete the menu and let's get started so first of all you need some things like a layout like this with a big cookie which is going outside the stage area yeah you can see when you make a new one this is the stage area the brightest part and it is, should be going outside of that and with the logo here and we have these three buttons here you can watch my previous tutorial the part one for start menu and you can just uh, check out that how to make these buttons and things so for now all you have to do is segregate these then we have this background then the cookie separated then the play button options button and quit button you can also name them background cookie play button options button and quit button so now so as you can see here i have some already set up from the part one we have these all set up and here you can see for now we can just customize it to just look like that one like the play button will be there and the controls button will be the options button and here you can see we don't have any controls menu then we have the quit button then we don't have a back button as we don't have a menu so here you can see when i click here you can see this is working just like the previous menu but these are in the right so to make this work like the current menu we were working on just like this one so let's get started so first of all we will just edit the script to just make the cookie and the menu so first of all we'll make the menu so just to duplicate the background and you can just delete this then copy the play button and here you can see just change this to back and make a back button Then you can make the controls menu. So you have a basic controls menu set. You can just edit it as you want. I just don't have a game. So I have written in literally anything here. So now you can see we have this. So just name it controls menu. And you can just duplicate this. And just delete everything except the back button and go here and delete the back button so here we have segregated name this back button so here we have all set up so now you can see when i go here and choose controls menu this option is there and when we go to back button here you can see back button is still there so when i just start this here you can see when I options we can go to this menu and we can come back but here you can see this uh, costume is just now the controls menu instead of the buttons so you can just go down and choose controls options button instead of controls button as we I have just copied the script to here. So here you can see when I click back we have now come back to our menu. So this is the basic setup. Now we'll just add the cookie one. So just duplicate the second one and just switch to costume cookie. So then you need just a block like this size plus 100 minus size divided by 3 to make the zoom in and zoom out of the menu uh, cookie just smoother and put this into the size. I have a ready script here for you. Here you can see this is for the cookie. Set brightness effect to 20 so it will just become a little bit bright. Then set size to 110 so it will smoothly transition to 110 size from 100 and then it will just set exposition to 20 as you can see uh, even if our cookie is in the left but according to the sprite we have x and y 0 x and y position is 0 so it will just go to 20 a bit right if this will happen if it is touching the mouse pointer like we saw in the menu and if it is not touching it will just set brightness effect to 0 it will go to x 0 and y will be obviously 0 and then if size is not 100 it will just set size to 100 and we can just put it 
inside here just remove this and also this uh, mouse down as we don't have anything to do when the cookie is pressed and just put this here so yeah this will work and we can put it off before the play button so it will be 2 and we can just change it to 3 for the play button 4 for the options button 5 for the quit button and 6 for the back button and we can just make a space and just put it here and just set this value build number to 6 here you can see we have the R cookie ready so now what we are gonna do is just make these buttons go a bit left and uh, zoom a little bit so these go don't go like this these doesn't act like this so this is very weird and we'll also make them to go up and down constantly in and forever just up and down to make that look a little bit better so for this we will need just a different type of block you can just copy it as this is a hard to explain block and you can just set it to the y 0 plus 10 uh, multiplied by cos of timer minus 3 into 150 so this is a different block this cos multiplied by 10 and then plus 0 we will add a value here we can add a value here otherwise you can just remove this if you are not adding and then set y2 here you can see you can just put it in the play button so just remove this if touching mouse pointer one but leave this we can use this and just put it here so it is just it will just go up and down for size changing we can just copy this from the cookie one just a little bit of value changes so we can just put here negative 20 it will just go to the left side and the size will be the same 110 and 100 if we require we can just change it anytime we want so let's just put it up on the upside and just put it in the forever loop so now you can see this is just going up and down according to timer and this is now going left when we just hover the mouse over it so too you can just apply to every button just duplicate this whole script and you can just apply it to this just remove this and remove this by touching mouse pointer and mouse down and you can just put it here and just remove everything and just put this here and now for the quit button you can do the same thing just replace the broadcast start with the stop call so now you can see i have just replaced it and here you can see this is now working perfectly we have just made the exact copy of that menu i showed you in the starting so this was all for this menu if you enjoyed it hit that like button and comment down below if you want the next part of this tutorial so thank you guys for watching see you in the next tutorial